Hi everybody, this is Metal Kaiju, and today I'll be talking about things I want to see in Godzilla 2016. Now, Godzilla, like the actual topic of Godzilla and all the rest of the movies, it's kind of mellowing down, so I kind of want to make it alive again by doing a discussion video on what I want to see in Godzilla 2016. So let's get started. Uh, there's three parts. First section slash part I will be talking about is Godzilla's design. Okay, so first of all, um, Godzilla's design should be based off a of Heisei suit, specifically the Biogoji suit. Now, if you do not know what I mean by Biogoji suit, I mean the design of Godzilla that fought off Biollante in the 1989 film Godzilla vs. Biollante. There's something about that suit that I really like. It's probably my favorite. Actually, yeah, it is my favorite uh, Heisei Godzilla suit design. Um, Burning Godzilla also looks really awesome, really epic looking. But I think I'd probably like Biogoji. I don't know what it is about him. But he just looks really, really awesome looking. Probably that menacing face is what I really like. And, you know, I just kind of want them to base it off the Biogoji suits. Biogoji is not my favorite. Godzilla 2003 is my favorite. Uh, Godzilla Incarnation. But just something about him I really like. And most likely they will be basing it off a Heisei Godzilla suit. Because the banner they showed um, showed off a uh, Heisei Godzilla design. You know, the eyes of a Heisei Godzilla. So most likely they will be using a Heisei suit. Which is really cool. And even um, has more greater opportunity. It might be Biogoji. Which that will be amazing. Okay, next section. Spike texture to be that of Heisei Godzilla suits. Now what I mean by that is, for example, Godzilla 2014 has very sharp and pointy spikes. Heisei Godzilla, I can't really describe it, but they're like really rubbery-ish. If you know what I'm talking about. Like whenever he moves, if you notice in the films, his spikes kind of wiggle around. Like I want that type of texture. What I want them to do is literally get the spikes of a Heisei Godzilla suit and then just stamp it on the Godzilla 2016 suit, and that's it. I really like if they do that. Okay, um, next, uh, doesn't matter if spikes are colorful slash have a distinct color. Now, what I mean by this is I do not care if the new Godzilla 2016 suit has colors, like spike colors that are the same of Godzilla 2000, like really weird looking colors. But if it has to be an exotic color, I'll probably choose yellow. Why yellow and why not other colors such as orange or red? Well, that would seem too much like Burning Godzilla. I saw a 1989 Marmot Godzilla, excuse me, I saw a Marmot Godzilla 1989 figure that uh, one of my buddies, uh, Gojira 5400, showed me, and I just really love the yellow in that they added in the spikes, so I would really like to see that in the silver screen, like a lot, I really, really love that they do that. Um, next thing, must have menacing face as mentioned earlier. You know, I don't care if it's a good guy. I just wanted to have a menacing face for, you know, the audience cannot be, you know, kind of perplexed, you know, why he has a really goofy-ish face. And then if he has a goofy-ish face, expect um, people bashing the film for Godzilla to have a very humanoid-esque slash goofy-looking face. Um, next is um I'll preferably like if the suit has a tint of green to it. I'll say if I mention suit a lot of times and you're questioning why not CGI, I'll talk about that later. Anyways, but as mentioned, I want some green tints or green highlights in the suit. If you just add black, it'll be a little bit dull. Even with the yellow spikes. The yellow spikes make it stand out a lot. But with the green it just I don't know, I just really love the addition of the green. That's what I really like about the Godzilla 2000 suit, the one that was using Godzilla vs. Nagiris, is that they actually added some green to it. That's what I really like about it. So, definitely they should do that. Second part of this list is Godzilla vs. Monsters or Solo Godzilla Movie. Um, so, first point for that section is, does it doesn't really matter what way they do it, but I'll, preferably, but I'll prefer a Godzilla vs. film. Now, I am a Godzilla vs. fan, like Godzilla vs. blank fan, 
I'm not a huge fan of a solo movie. That's why Godzilla 1954 is not my favorite. I'm not saying Godzilla 1954 is a horrible movie that it sucks and all that stuff. It's a really phenomenal movie. But it's not my number one, number two, number three. It's none of those. Probably number six, maybe number five as well. I'm not really sure. But not number one because I'm more of a Godzilla vs. fan, as mentioned earlier. You know, I just like how Godzilla fights another monster. Just really cool. You know, I'm that kind of guy. I know most of you want a solo Godzilla film, but honestly, for me, I want Godzilla vs. Blank. Uh, next point, if Godzilla fights a monster, I wouldn't care less if it is a new or old kaiju. So, um, if they make an old kaiju and he appears in the film, okay, that's cool. If they make a new kaiju and he appears in the film, okay, that's cool. I do not care at all what it is. Old kaiju, I do not want a stupid kaiju like Gabra, Giant Condor, those are pathetic things that shouldn't even exist at all so those no those should not even be including Godzilla 2016 maybe as a kaiju in the beginning of the film where Godzilla just shows up how powerful he is that will be pretty cool but as a main villain oh my god Gabriel oh my god that'll be horrible um maybe King of Dora can be the main kaiju villain if they use an old kaiju and if it's a new kaiju well Toho will think about it. Uh, next point. If the monster is a new kaiju, I would like it to be by Peter not standing on fours. Now, um, four legged kaijus, like Anguirus, Baragon, um, what, Varen, I guess he's a four legged kaiju. What else? Mm, I can't think of any. Well, there's more Ultraman, definitely, but I'm thinking of Godzilla monsters. I don't know what other ones. But they seem a little. Weak-ish. I mean, I'm not saying they're super weak like Gabara or Abra weak. But I'm just saying they're not so powerful compared to other monsters like Anguirus and Space Godzilla. Like, Space Godzilla is definitely more powerful than Anguirus, obviously. And, you know, so on and so forth. I can do that comparison with Varen and Baragon as well. So, by adding a four-legged kaiju, it kind of makes it into the section of weakish kind of. So, I would like to be bipedal. For Godzilla can have, you know, a pretty big beating. I mean, I know I love the King of the Monsters, and I do not want him to lose. But I do want to see Godzilla being challenged to the point he might, um, you know, be killed. But then at the end, he wins. So, um, uh, next point. Let's see, okay. Make the monster, if new and creative, not generic. The Mutos are pretty cool. They are a little bit to the generic side, but they're so pretty cool looking because they add a little bit of creativeness to it as well. So no generic ones. I remember in the past when I was like, what, 10, 7 years old, somewhere around there, I was thinking of, like, if I made my own kaiju movie, that if I made a new kaiju, I will add a giant alligator, a bipedal alligator, and now that I think about it, that's really generic. So something generic. I mean, excuse me. Something that's creative, not generic. Like, for example, Anguirus. He might seem generic, but he's still very creative by kind of doing a twist of the um, Ankylosaurus. Kind of like that. Gorosaurus, he looks awesome, but he is generic, honestly. And if they're trying to introduce a new kaiju in this modern era... It's supposed to be creative, not really generic, like a dinosaur. Okay, um, next and final part, CGI or suits. Now, first point for this is preferably one suits, but CGI is also welcomed. So, CGI, hello, come inside to this Godzilla 2016 film. Um, you know, as mentioned, I want suits, because, you know, I like the old films, they're really awesome. Godzilla 2000 is actually my favorite suit. Excuse me, Godzilla 2000 is my favorite movie. Just like Gojira 2000. Yay, we're buddies. Anyways, who cares? Actually, everybody cares. Anyways. Um, but yeah, CGI is also welcomed. And next point is more suit slash animatronic scenes than that of CGI. I want suits more than CGI. From what I've seen of CGI in Toho Godzilla movies, they look pretty bad. 
like that scene, I forgot what movie it was, but it was whenever um, Godzilla was swimming in the ocean. It was a millennium film, I know that, but he was like swimming into the ocean. I think there was like a submarine or something. I don't know what it was. But the CGI looked terrible there. I want the CGI to look pretty good. So by doing that, they should actually add more suit action than that of CGI. But that's basically all for this video. These are the things I want to see in Godzilla 2016. Please tell me in the comment below what do you want to see in the new Toho Godzilla film that will be coming out on 2016. So anyways, after this video, subscribe, like, and comment. This is Kaiju, signing out.